I, I didn't do badly in school. Um, my goal wasn't to go to university. Um, I, my goal was to join the army and I knew that from about 12 years old. I always wanted to join the army. I had a few friends that had joined. Um, if it was my choice, I would have dropped out in year 10 and started my enlistment process from there. However, my parents weren't too happy with that. Um, no one in my family had actually graduated high school, so they were, they had a lot of hopes for me to be the first to graduate. Um, and then just before my actual HSC exams, I got a call saying that I'd been accepted and had an enlistment date of the 9th of January, 2018. So study kind of fell through the window at that point. I didn't, I wasn't really too fussed. Um, I got my dream job, um, kind of. <laughs> I, I initially wanted to enlist as a medic, um, but the wait list to be a medic in the army was two and a half years at the time. And I wanted to join the army straight after high school. At DFR, they had told me Oh, we're, you know, we've, uh, we're recruiting women into combat roles now. Is this something you'd be interested in? Kind of got talked into it a little bit. Um, and I guess, yeah, I, in my mind, I thought, okay, I'll just, I'll do this job and then I'll core transfer once I'm in to medics. That's not exactly what happened. <laughs> I enlisted as a rifleman at um, Singleton, like in the pit, I had rocks kicked in my face. I was yelled at, it's like, you don't deserve to be here, why are you still here? Um, I got a lot of abuse hauled at me. I've been physically threatened. Um, I got bailed up on a base because I was a, yeah. There were a lot of, people that weren't okay with me being there and then women always seem to be the issue with all these rumors it's not that i think we're just an easy target it was rough it was yeah i ended up having to seek mental health help because of it like it was just it, it was it was a lot it was absolutely a lot but yeah i restarted my course in november of 2019 um, and I finished it. <laughs> I finished it and I graduated in April of 2019, I believe it was. Um, I think any women, any young women especially, if they're wanting to go into a combat role, I think go for it, but just be prepared. Um, that physically, mentally, just know not everyone is gonna be happy that you're there you have every right to be there, but just do your best, I guess, prepare, especially physically. Um, even the fittest men that are in the infantry, they get injured. And women, we are more prone to injuries, especially hip injuries, it's just the way it is. Um, I just, yeah, I guess, just be prepared. <laughs>